How's it going everyone? We are going to see Tyson Fury tonight in Carlisle at the Sand Centre. It's been some time since I last uploaded a video but I thought this was a perfect opportunity to do a vlog for everybody so that you can see just what it's like going to one of these evening with. Uh, we met him back in Glasgow, I think it was like October or November last year. So I'm going to try and get the photo that I took with him signed. Uh, so I'll update you on whether that happens or not. I'm with my beautiful girlfriend Charlotte right now, she's doing the driving. Hi! So I'll update you when we're there. See you soon. Right, that's us arrived in Carlisle now, so we're just walking along this path by the riverside to get into the entrance where we need to go. I'll update you once we're in. Right, that's us about to go in. We're currently front in the line, so hopefully we'll manage to get our picture signed. I'm, I'm not bad, I'm, yeah. I'm filming for YouTube. Yeah, I can't do any YouTube stuff though, because the boss will kill me downstairs. Really? I, yeah. just, just like a quick hello or something. I'll go out and say a quick hello. Okay. What's yeah. Like yeah. Here I am with John Fury, I'm Peter Sanders. Uh, we're here to see Tyson and Carlisle. Do you have anything to say, John? Well, enjoy the show. Carlisle's a great place, great people, and it's going to be an even great tonight. God bless you all. Thanks very much. We're just looking for a photo. Right, we just met Tyson Fury just a minute ago. Um, it was really good fun. Uh, we also met John Fury, he was just up there. This is our view from the front row. So yeah, I'll keep you updated um, as the night goes on. There's going to be like a charity auction or something going on, uh, selling all these like side pieces and stuff. I'll show you them as well. Now, I know in the past you couldn't go see these fights in America. 
Now Dylan White, 94,000 people, the biggest selling crowd ever in history, ladies and gentlemen, and you could be at ringside with your son. How did that feel, John? I'm Brian and I've been away a long time, you know, as you know, I've been back for all the big fights. And uh, I think the last time I was at a big contest with Tyson was when he won it in Germany against Klitschko. You know, you know what? The feeling was second to none, you know, it was like I'd never been away. Enjoyed for a minute of it, even though it was like a funny week because it's a week of uncertainty, you know, and you can't really settle into what you're doing because you're thinking about the bigger thing because every fight's dangerous in the heavyweight division. And, uh, but when we got the win, I mean, second in, you know, I realised how great it was and for a man of me. I'm very privileged to be in that position you now. Thank you, guys. Half past six, seven o'clock, I don't know what I do with this. You know, afterwards, the half an hour, 45 minutes, you can't buy it. There's no bigger buzz than being fit, is there? You know, I'm as fit as possibly can be. I'm 20 stone in weight, they do it every day, to be honest. And I do believe if I didn't do it, I'd be 30 stone. Probably half that material and die. So it's keeping me alive, and it's doing me a good job. I was all running about there. I'm nervous anyway. When you all started running, I thought, I'm, I'm going to look a fool here. So I thought, it's a good job I've done something in the grinding camp. Because there's, there's pretty good, but I'm going to grin. Yeah. I heard run into, run into battle. That's what kind of a man we got in Tyson. That wasn't scripted. That was just a thing that happened. He could not wait to fight. He was ready to go. And he was running to the ring. As long as any men run, run to have a fight here. Oh, wow. You seen it that night? So he was supposed to walk to the ring. He was supposed to walk, Brian. Wow. I bet you could, that's better than that. Go for the most. The plan was walk to the ring, enjoy the 94,000 crowd, have a look at soak it all up. You know what? I missed it all. I missed it all to run with them. By the time I stopped, I was in the ring. Wow, I'm trying to be with you. Hey, kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more Make some noise!
this is a true rocky story this year. Before we start, does anybody want any of these shrinks? Take them. Absolutely, box the two in its right top. 
in the ring, but Michael Buffer usually goes, hurt the new, if, if the guy wins. So I'm waiting now, I've got me hold up and waiting for the new. And I don't know why, at a certain time he goes, from the United, and I'm thinking he's going to say, going to say Ukraine or something, I don't know what he's going to say. <laughs> and he goes, from the United Kingdom, and I want to know the United Kingdom. Fuck it, that's me! <laughs> It was the, the biggest moment in my life, other than being born. Wow. That was the biggest moment in your life. Tell them the fight though, Tyson. The fight was a great fight, you know. Uh, I had to give him a boxing lesson because he made me try to knock out the other coach all the way through because he thought he was big and he got knocked him out or whatever. But I didn't, I had boxed him comfortably, give him a boxing lesson. Great fight. You did. You did. And going back to the, the end of the fight. Yeah. It should have been my happiest moment on earth. And it was for about two minutes, I'd say. Wow. So that's, that's the truth. The truth is, you, you work all your life yeah. to become the WBA, the WBO, the IBO, all, all the belts. belts. Yeah. All the belts. And then you, you, is this where it started with that four times? I could feel myself deflating walking back to the dressing room. Yeah. Like a balloon, let the air out of it. And by the time I got back to the press conference yeah. after the fight, I was already depressed. Unbelievable. Uh, to get that, it took 10 years and then go so. The boxing all my life from a little boy, I had that moment that I was waiting for forever and I was in a depression straight away. From staying out of the boxing ring, I was, all, I was already depressed. And I think the reason for this is. Because of my personality, it's all on the thing. It's like, I put everything into everything I do. I give it 100% whether I'm drinking, whether I'm eating, whether I'm fighting. I do it all often to be character. I mean, I'm in a harmless type of moment. So, when you put all your eggs in one basket to achieve an un unachievable goal, reach the unreachable goal, and then you reach it, 
Some people never reach it. But I reached that moment, the unreachable goal. That was way out of grasp from a little kid to a man. I got there and I looked at it and I thought, fuck, I'm, I'm afraid now because I didn't know what I was going to do with my life anymore. Wow. I was 27 years old. I had everything this earth had to offer me. Mm. And money, fame, glory, life, kids, uh, achievements, accolades. I had everything. Well, but there yeah. wasn't one day that went past that I didn't want to die. And that's the truth. Listen to the truth. The truth is, the truth is I was suicidal for years. Um, I used to wake up and think, why did I wake up today? Why did I just die in my sleep? And start drinking. I've never been a drinking man. Never took a drug in my life until I got to 27. After I beat Klitschko. The big gossip. And then I started taking drugs, drinking. Very out of character for me. But I suppose when you don't want to live anymore, you don't care about your morals anymore, do you? Everything goes out the window. Um, and when you lose the passion to want, yeah. then you are in a dark place because if you don't want anything in life and you've got no goals anymore right. and you don't want to achieve anything, you've got nothing in your sights. You're in a dark, horrible place. And I was. I was in a dark, horrible place and attempted suicide. This is a guy with family, kids, wife, and everyone. Attempted suicides. Have you ever chanted the world stone in this guy? I'm undefeated. Wow. And I've learned up from 18 stone to 28 stone in weight in two years. Um, I see some photographs. You were massively Yeah, I was a massive weight waste. It was hard to cut my tail. I couldn't bend down and tie my shoelaces up without being out of breath. Mm. So I was in a proper state, and that's the truth. Um, How the hell, Tyson, did you go from being the heavyweight champ of the world and hold on your shoulders and both? Go it's quite on. easy. It's quite easy. Honestly. I just didn't care anymore. I didn't care about anything. I didn't care about life, death, nothing. I wasn't afraid of anything. I just I had enough of, of the people life. around you. That, that, that was your family going all wrong for you. Who are you kidding? You've got great friends. Okay, it, it's unbelievable. But you know what? I've heard you're a pretty good singer as well. Yeah! Put your phones on! We'll all help you. Spin it!
Right, here I am, I'm just wrapping up this video. I'm sorry I've not really managed to speak you through it or anything just because it was so loud in there. It was like a nightclub, the music was really loud. Uh, the last time I met Tyson was in Glasgow and it was very much like a carousel, like in and out so quickly for your photo. But this time, uh, since we were the front of the queue, it was honestly such a blast because I managed to get my photo signed, I had a bit of a laugh with them. Gave me a massive bear hug out of nowhere. Not gonna, not gonna lie, I was kind of scared for my life. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna have the clip of that uh, to include in the video, but I might not. So we'll just see. But um, all in all, it was a fantastic night. Also met John Fury, and you'll see the clips of that in this video. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything.